Hey guys, it's Brian Mounts, or InterpMechanic.com in this channel, and today I'm coming to you with a lineup of lawnmowers here. I'm going to be talking to you about blades, though. These lawnmowers really are just for demonstration purposes. This is the month of February. Believe it or not, this is the beginning of the lawnmower purchasing season. This is the time when a lot of people start shopping for lawnmowers. It doesn't really get going gangbusters until March, but in early February, you've got your, the pick of the litter. Pretty much all lawnmowers are in stock and available, so this really is the best time to get what you want. Now, over here on my left and your right, you're gonna see bigger mowers. These are all push mowers and these are all batteries. So if you're familiar with this channel, I'm a battery only guy. I don't run gas here in my yard. Over here, these are the bigger battery um, push mowers. Uh, these are all self-repelled. This is the Toro and the Yard Force. Here, I got my tape measure right there. Uh, Toro and the Yard Force. Behind me, I've got Ego's Select Cut with the touch drive, and then I've got a smaller 19-inch snapper push mower, and then I got this tiny little Works 40-volt uh, battery mower over there. Now, if you look at the deck sizes, these are all kind of in descending order. You've got 22 inch, 21, 21, 19, and 14. But I don't wanna talk about deck sizes. I wanna talk about blade width and what that actually means for cut quality in the lawn. Now, a lot of people talk about buying a lawnmower, uh, a wider deck so that you can cut the grass faster. Now, yeah, that's the truth um, and if you don't really care about cutting the grass that much faster, especially if you've got a small yard, like for instance, my yard's only 2,500 square foot, or at least my main yard here. Uh, a lot of places, this is even a big yard. Some places have really tiny yards. You don't need an enormous mower to mow it fast because it's so small. If you've got a gigantic yard, then yeah, you're gonna want speed. That's gonna be a main issue when it comes to cutting your lawn once a week or twice a week throughout the growing season. But what I wanna to talk to you about, if that blade width is wider, that generally means that the tip speed of the blade as it goes around in a circle is faster, which means it's going to give you a better cut quality. Even if you don't care about having a bigger lawnmower to get through your lawn faster, it's worth looking at the bigger lawnmowers, the wider lawnmowers, for the sake of cut quality. And here's why. This works. 40 volt lawnmower. Now I haven't used it yet because I just got it this week and the grass isn't growing, but I know for a fact, because I measured it with my tape measure, that the blade is 13 and one quarter inches wide. The manual tells me that the blade spins when you put it on the eco mode at 3300 RPMs, or when you put it on the turbo mode at 3700 RPMs. Now, if you do the math, if you do blade width, which is diameter, multiply it by pi, and that way you get the amount of distance traveled for one RPM, multiply it by 3,700 RPMs per one minute, and then convert that inches to feet per minute to miles per hour. On the turbo mode, this tip, the blade tip, is traveling around in a circle at 146 miles per hour. Now, it's just math. I'm not in front of an Excel sheet, but if you do the math, you'll find that number to be pretty accurate. On the eco mode, it's running at 3,300 RPMs, which is an equivalent of 130 miles per hour tip speed. That sounds pretty fast. That blade is going around. It's really, it's the tip of the blade that's cutting the grass. It's not the middle of the blade. The tip of the blade cuts it, and then the lawnmower travels over the top. You really care about the tip, the the end of the blade. Turbo mode, you're running 146 miles per hour. Now, as you move up the spectrum in blade width, this snapper 19 inch push mower has a blade width of 18 and an eighth inch, 18.125 inches. The manual tells me that the no load uh, RPM speed is 2,800 RPM. That's pretty common for battery powered mowers, even on the high end, 2,800 RPMs with an 18 and an eighth inch blade. Do the math, that's gonna be 152 mile hour tip speed. As you move up to the larger Ego, this blade is 20 and one eighth yard force. 
This one is 20 and 5 eighths. And then you get all the way up here to the Toro Recycler. That one is 21 and 5 eighths inch. As you go up, the miles per hour tip speed of every mower gets faster, which means that every blade, as you go over the grass, is cutting that grass at a faster speed. It's basically giving you a cleaner cut. Now, if you pair that with a sharp blade, so let's say, for instance, you get um, an angle grinder or you go pay someone um, at like a small repair shop, like a lawnmower shop in your town, to give you the sharpest blade possible, the bigger the blade, the wider the blade, the cleaner of a cut you're gonna get, which also means that if you're cutting through taller grass or thicker grass, it's going to cut easier. Now, not every mower is the same. Works over there on the turbo mode runs at 3,700 RPMs, which is very, very high. Most mowers don't do that. The only reason it's so high is because the blade is not very wide. It's, it's a, I mean, it's a 13 inch blade. Um, it's easier to spin that thing around fast and it has to spin around fast to be able to give a decent cut quality. It's still not, I've never used it, but I can guarantee you the cut quality is not gonna be the same as these. As you move up, this is a 2800, this is a 2700 RPM. Now I have two other mowers in the garage that also run 28. 28 is pretty common. This one is pretty small. In past videos on this channel, I have talk smack about Ego's 2700 RPM being the smallest of them all. Well, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal because this blade is actually wider and there's two of them. It's wider than my Greenworks Pro, which is in the garage, and my Sunjo, which is in the garage. For a 21 inch mower, it's a pretty good blade. It's 20 and 1 8 inches. Not to mention the fact that there's two blades under there because it's the select cut model. It's actually cutting pretty good, especially when you keep that blade sharp. Now over here, just to go over my mowers, Yard Force has, according to their manual, a 3000 RPM and it's pretty much the biggest, uh, widest blade of any battery mower that I know. Now I know Greenworks has a 25 inch lawnmower, uh, but that's a two blade system that are going side by side. So the blades on that Greenworks are not as wide as this one. At 3000 RPMs and 20 and 5 eighths inches in diameter, you're looking at 184 miles per hour tip speed. Let me cut in here for a second. I hope you're finding this video helpful, interesting. If so, hit that like button, but I don't want the rest of this video to come off as talking bad stuff about these small little mowers. I think there is a, uh, a true need in the lawn care community for these tiny little mowers. Um, in fact, I'm gonna be doing a series this year on the smallest mowers, the smallest battery mowers on the market. Um, I think there's a lot of people out there that they will be good for. Definitely go down into the description below. I do have a couple links to a couple blog posts over on the site having to do with the strongest battery mowers on the market, my comments and reviews of them, the ones that I own, as well as the smallest ones on the market, also ones that I own. Anyway, let's jump back into the video. Thanks for watching. I wish I could give you very, very firm numbers about the Toro Recycler. Everybody under the sun, it seems like, loves the Toro Recycler more than anything under the sun. Uh, it is the biggest, the widest blade of them all. It's also the thickest, which means it's the sturdiest. It doesn't bend as much. That thing is 20 and 5 eighths inches wide. It's a full inch wider than the Yard Force. Unfortunately, I cannot find any reference anywhere in Toro's documentation to the RPM speed of that. So I ran some hypotheticals. On the low end, Ego runs 2,700 RPMs. If the Toro is running 2,700 RPMs, then that means that the tip speed is running at 174 miles per hour, which is significantly more than Works and Snapper, but it's a little bit less than Yard Force. If you get up to 3,000 RPMs, like Yard Force, then the tip speed is running at 193 miles per hour, which is nine miles per hour more than the Yard Force. So somewhere in there between 174 and 193, a good guess is about the same miles per hour that Yard Force gives you. The difference is you're covering more ground with that 
and the blade is thicker, which means it's not bending and flexing. You're still going to get a better cut quality out of that Toro recycler. What am I getting at here? These small mowers are fantastic for little teeny tiny yards. They really are. They're really easy to use for just about anybody. My nine-year-old son is planning on using that with me in the yard this coming spring. These big mowers are really great for larger yards. But no matter what size yard you have, as your blade diameter gets bigger, the tip speed is going to be faster, which means the blade, the lawnmower blade, is going to cut that grass cleaner and more efficiently than all of these smaller ones. Now, I love my Snapper XD. Snapper XD makes a larger 21 inch model and a larger 21 inch model with a fancy, uh, it's called Step Sense. I love this thing, but the tip speed on this is pretty small compared to these. I would encourage you as you're shopping, look at the blade diameter. Don't just think about the cutting path that you can cover with every strip. Think about the actual cut quality because each one of these blades is going to give you a better cut quality as that diameter increases. The fluctuation in the RPM is not great enough to offset the diameter of the blade itself. Anyway, I hope that helps while you shop. If you're shopping for a lawnmower this year, uh, be sure to like this video if it did help. And I hope to see you in another video down the road.